Now let's talk about the stream provider, which is similar to the future provider, but for the streams instead of the future. It is usually used for the listening to the Firebase or WebSockets, just like the stream builder, which will connect with the connections and immediately it will just return us the result. How can we use it? So we are using the future provider here. Now we are just talking about the stream provider. But stream provider doesn't need any async value and not this value. Also, it doesn't need any 60. Okay, so what we will write here, it doesn't need this thing too. We will return the stream dot periodic here, we just call here the duration seconds, for example, two, and then it needs one function. So you will see that why it needs this function is because this periodic needs the duration and then a function. Okay, so we will write here, uh, for example, the 20. Let's save it, but before saving it, now it doesn't need any async value. So let's put here the final future value. Let's save it, but we have to restart it for, the, for now. So uh, if I just go here, so if it is, let's see when it will be restarted, how it behaves. So if I just restart it, and so you will see that it is just showing us the 20. So uh, for example, uh, we have the, we have any value just like the count. And now if I just show us the count, this stream will show us the count increment every two seconds. So let's save it and let's, let me show you. So you will see that now zero, one, two, three. So it is constantly interacting with the, with the, with the stream provider and showing us the result. Okay. So that's it. So for example, we have a text here. We can put here the textile and you will see that it is like the working fine. 